So what is a zero client? Well, if you're going to virtualize your desktops, a zero client is the only way of moving 100% of software into the data center, leaving nothing behind at the desk. That's because a zero client has no CPU in it and runs no software of any kind. To best understand what a zero client is, let's start by looking at the inside of a regular old desktop PC. Inside there's of course a processor, system memory, a number of I.O. peripherals such as display and storage, and most importantly a system bus that ties them all together. Now, if we want to move this PC into the data center, then one way of accessing that PC is from a thin client. You'll notice that a thin client looks a lot like a PC on the inside. That's because it is a PC. It's just a stripped down PC running a special application to allow the user to interact with the remote desktop in the data center. I know what you're thinking. That doesn't make much sense. Two PCs to accomplish what my one PC used to do? That thin client's looking kind of thick after all. Even thin client vendors know this, which is why they've tried to disguise thin clients as zero clients. They've tried getting rid of the hard drive and even gone so far as to swap out the x86 processor for other types of processors. But at the end of the day, these so-called zero clients are still thin clients. After all, they have a processor, run an operating system, have drivers, and require management. So what's a real zero client? Let's go back to the basic PC, a processor, system memory, peripherals, and most importantly, that system bus. If the PC is now moved to the data center, then a zero client is about stretching that system bus over the network so that only the peripherals, the display, USB ports, and audio are at the desk. So there you have it, a CPU, operating system, and 100% of software in the data center, and a zero client with display, USB ports, and audio at the desktop, with the system bus in between stretched over the network. Notice the zero client has no CPU or software of any kind. It's just a bunch of peripherals attached to the network with drivers in the data center that light up those peripherals over the network. That way, the PC treats the ports on the zero client like their local ports. 100% of software, operating system, drivers, and applications in the data center, and no CPU, no software, and no management at the zero client. Zero. What a concept.